place is beautiful it's a small town but well constructed which i think they try to invite tourists uh, people to come and um, have some fun here because this afternoon we're able to actually go to a place free barbecue center water toilet and everything free we made our lunch and ate our lunch there the scenery is beautiful and this evening we are trying to see if we can catch some fish Good. people have been very very welcoming and accommodating and it's beautiful this beautiful sunset okay this morning um, we drove here on our way we saw the the lake that was pink with a crystal salt and I was able to collect some salt as souvenirs and uh, along the way we stopped in a few places just ad admiring what nature had to offer us and uh, we came here we were not decisive we were indecisive of whether we wanted to spend the night here or continue to Melbourne but my husband as usual was able to convince me that this place is a beautiful place and we should spend the night. And besides, the park we are currently uh, parking our car is free. You don't have to pay for anything. There's, there's toilet, there's water, there's everything. You can cook, you can do everything here. Fish tonight? Hopefully, my fingers crossed. I hope to catch fish this Look. night. July or August time. Okay. Um, actually, got my girlfriend joining me in um, Mel Melbourne, and we'll be heading up the coast together. So on the bike as well. Oh, oh, right yeah. So I, I left the UK in 2013, um, cycled through Europe, um, down the coast of Croatia to Istanbul, all the way through um, Georgia, um, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and Kyrgyzstan, all the way to the Chinese border. Where it got freezing cold and I ended up heading home to do a ski season in um, in France. On that trip, probably the mountains in Tajikistan. Um, they are huge, 4,500 meter passes, and so there's hardly anybody about. It's once again very remote. Um, yeah, just taking enough food and water and um, keeping yourself sane as well whilst doing those distances is a fun thing. Okay, so it's not set up at the minute, but uh, as you can see, um, so we have a Hassani disc trucker. Um, the reason I chose this is because it's renowned for its sturdy frame. It's a proper um, touring bike, so it's like a mixture between a mountain bike and a, and a road bike. Um, solid steel frame. I've got a bottle of wine in there as well. That's obviously one. Um, and yeah, basically it's built for durability. I've got 26 inch wheels, which are the most common in the world. Um, that's the reason, because if you end up getting a, um, a broken rim or something, and you're in the middle of nowhere, the most likely wheel you'll find is a 26 inch bike. Um, I don't know about, well, I've forgotten miles now, but um, I've done 22,000 kilometers, I think, so far. Um, I'd imagine that will crank up to um, over 30,000 by the time I finish this trip. On this? No, it's all on this one. Okay. This is Frank Furter. So if you had to... Oh, with Sally, um, they've done so many versions of this, I'm not sure they really can, but maybe a couple of couple more bottle cages, um, but that's, that's all. I mean, it's done so well. Um, you can fit fat tires on if you want. You can fit pretty much everything a cycle tourist needs on there. But as you can see, I've made some makeshift bottle holders and, yeah can you tell us well yeah um, <laughs> but my name's mark i um i grew up in southeast of england in kent um been to university 
worked in the city and you know I got to the age of 28 and I just had a mad panic thinking I haven't seen the world I haven't seen um, a scratch of what's out there so decided to quit my job and saved a little bit of cash beforehand and then headed out on this journey and you know you can make it last so long if you um, if you want to if you take it on a budget trip but um, you can see a lot it doesn't have to cost a huge amount people are so hospitable all over the world and, yeah. thank you so much for talking Good for you. What's totally fine with um, The best for me is um, travel with a four wheel drive car. <laughs> <laughs> the off road moments on the beach, uh, on the four wheel drive tracks in the desert. And yeah, the beautiful beaches. And um, yeah, the yeah, time out from the job. And yeah, the relaxing time with Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> The Tell flies, them. oh god, the flies are horrible. <laughs> they're just annoying. I don't know why there are so many flies. But we do have a really nice tent, so whenever there are too many flies, uh, we just hide in the tent. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. your choice? Or? Um, so, we, like, the one number one criteria was we did one uh, four-wheel drive car, so we chose that one, which is a really nice car. Um, and, uh, yeah, we just put a top on, like, on top, a rooftop tent. Um, because it's quite comfortable, we do have <laughs> we do have a lot of space, so we sleep up there, and then um, when we're s at some place for a bit long, we just have a couple of things down there, like a table or a chair, or whatever. And, uh, yeah, and it fits everything in the car, like everything we need. We have a small well, kitchen in the bag, so yeah, it's quite convenient. It's I really can't the trip. The saddest part of the trip. Uh, well, the sad. I think. For him, maybe, not sure when, so we were working for eight weeks and he had a really, really nice host family who he uh, worked for. Um, and when, uh, yeah. when he left, he was quite sad because he really liked them and we really got to know them. They became friends. So, yeah, so that was a bit sad, leaving them, I think. <laughs> New Year's Day. <laughs> yeah, uh, in a pub in Tabby Bay with my boss and yeah, the people they, we um, learned there. And yeah, having a good uh, party and <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, a long party and it was a nice uh, day. But not the same as in Germany. We missed a little bit the uh, firework and um, yeah, it was a little bit different because uh, we stay in the pub and they make the countdown 10, 9, 8 and Happy New Year and okay, let's drink. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> by the speed ones. Not really because our car doesn't really go that fast. <laughs> so, so 110 is actually quite good for the car. Whenever it goes uphill, we're probably just 80 and we can't get any faster. <laughs> so, the speed limit really doesn't bother us too much. Yeah. Cost of living? Um, at first we heard it's um, more expensive to live here in Australia, but um, we think when you go to the supermarket it's the same as in Germany and yeah the fuel cost it's or the, the petrol it's the same too I think when you go in a restaurant or you uh, go in a hotel that's more expensive than in Germany uh, but yeah we just try to avoid the most expensive things like I mean we don't have to pay rent uh, we don't have to go out for dinner every day so we do save a lot of money with that so I guess for us it's about the same. <laughs> so we stay off a free camper. Yes. <laughs> I love the little <laughs> kangaroos. <laughs> we haven't seen a koala yet. Really? So, yeah, no, no, yeah. But we'll probably go to the koala hospital in Sydney. So we'll just do that. Um, yeah. It's really sad that you just, like you see a lot of dead kangaroos on the side of the road. So that's kind of sad. That's bummer. But in Coffin Bay, um, it was really nice. Uh, there were lots of kangaroos, tiny ones and bigger ones, and they're really cute. <laughs> uh, it's your turn. I filmed a brown snake uh, on the farm, <laughs> and uh, later I showed the movie my boss, and he said I'm an idiot because <laughs> I'm so uh, near from the brown snake. And uh, at first he asked me, Have you a selfie stick or something? And I said, No, I stay here with my uh, iPhone and make the movie. 
And yeah, it was. I heard the brown snake is one of the dangerous snakes here. And yeah, I'm. And you just didn't know, you <laughs> were just filming it, like, and <laughs> trying to have the yeah. perfect movie. <laughs> yeah, and we saw um, the spiders, uh, the black. No, red, red, that red back, yeah, spiders. And they're disgusting. We hate the spiders. Yeah, I think Huntsman spiders too. We saw them on the bushes when you come in the night with the light and the eyes are glowing. Mm -hmm. And when you see bigger eyes, they're glowing, um, you think, okay, it's a bigger spider. <laughs> <laughs> Were you recommended? Yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, I think it's, it's a country where you can see like lots of different things, like whatever you feel like doing or if you like the coast or mountains, whatever you like. You can uh, find it in Australia, so definitely everyone should come here. <laughs> they do have the time. <laughs> Your next After. Uh, hmm, not sure yet. No. <laughs> I don't really know. Well, actually, you wanted to go off-roading in the uh, somewhere. Where was it? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I forgot the name. It's this like is a border from Italy to France. Um, that's uh, one of the most popular uh, off-road. Uh, um, tracks in Europe. Um, the Gurische Grenzkampfstraße. Right. <laughs> That's in Germany. Oh. <laughs> About herself? Yes. Well, do you want to go first? No, do. <laughs> well, my name is Theresa. <laughs> and well, we're both, and that's Robert, and we're both from uh, Kiel. That's uh, in the very far north from Germany. And um, yeah, so I'll be a teacher. I study biology and English. Um, he's a physiotherapist. therapist. And, uh, yeah, we do like to go camping a lot, <laughs> also at home. We like to go to Denmark, uh, usually France. with, yeah, in France, usually with a bunch of friends. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and you? Yeah, I'm Robert, I'm 29. I'm a physiotherapist and I travel with Teresa, my girlfriend. And yeah, we have a beautiful time here. And we love the traveling and we love the camping. And yeah. Not more. <laughs>